Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built, and I thought it was about time we did another update on the world's simplest DIY sim rig. Alright guys, well some of you might have seen this sim rig kicking around in a couple of my videos. Uh, the original video I did back in December of 2017, which is um, about five and a half years ago now. And it's still going strong with a lot of use over, yeah, I said five and a half years and it's still rock solid. Uh, I'm very happy with it. If you missed it, I'll put a link up above so you can go back and check out that video. Um, and make the original simplest version of this, which I've just elaborated onto over the years. Uh, when I started, it was just the, the basic rig, the seat uh, holding the pedals and the steering wheel, and that was about it. Uh, then I did some upgrades, and I sort of added in a, a side braces somewhere to, to uh, help lift myself in and out. Uh, I put the gear stick on and the triple screens, um, and just made a couple of little additions that really made it uh, nice. Today, uh, I thought it was time to upgrade uh, my hardware to really step this up into the next level of sim rig. So uh, let's start digging in and I'll show you what I've got. All right, so the steering wheel and pedals and the basic hardware for the sim rig, I've been using as pretty much the same stuff for the whole time I've had this uh, rig without too much uh, changes. And it's sort of a reasonable entry level stuff and as far as the sort of the uh, uh, entry level side of things go I I've been quite happy with the steering wheel and pedals but it's really there is a lot more you can do and you can get a lot more feel if you actually upgrade things and uh, today I've got a bunch of stuff from Camus I'm going to be uh, changing to a direct drive steering wheel which gives uh, much more direct feedback and, uh, and, and also a, a, a lot stronger force feedback and some really nice high-end pedals, which uh, will make that feel a lot nicer. So let's start unboxing a bunch of this stuff now and uh, start setting it up and see what it's like. I'm just looking at this brake pedal. Uh, it's got a gel in here and uh, plenty of adjustment for length and all the rest of it. It's really solid, all steel construction, and uh, and looks like it's a really, uh, yeah, a really, really nice uh, piece of gear. All right, so it's been a couple of weeks since I've installed the uh, steering wheel and pedals, and it's taken me quite a bit of time to get everything sorted out and working the way I want it to. So uh, the steering wheel was great straight out of the box, besides being very strong and uh, really working my shoulders. Um, I had to adjust the power of that because uh, having it all the way up, I'm a bit weak to, uh, <laughs> to handle it. Yeah, I, I can't last. It just really, really works your arms. But uh, getting the pedals just right took a fair bit of playing around. So I'll take you down now and show you exactly what I did to get everything set up the way that I like it so that it's working and uh, I'll uh, give you my thoughts. All right, so the first thing I did is I went through and uh, I actually 
put another piece of timber in between the runners and then used a piece of the foam that actually uh, was the packing of the pedals, glued that on top and that is now my heel rest to get my feet at just the right height to use the pedals and I've got a nice cushy place for my heels. That's, uh, that was a really good mod and as far as getting the pedals to feel right, that took a fair bit of time. Now, the bonus about this brake pedal, which makes it fantastic, is it's actually a load cell brake pedal. So what that means is that instead of just being a potentiometer, so um, if you push it down 50% of the way, you get 50% of the brakes, it measures force. So the harder you press the brakes, the more brake pedal you get. So you might not press it very far, but it measures how hard you press it, so it feels much more realistic. So um, I've set it up now so that it's sort of, it's, it's only got a small amount of sort of soft pedal and then it gets quite firm on the bottom. Uh, I took a little bit of messing around with the shock absorber to get that feeling right. And uh, yeah, there's not a lot of travel there, but once I got the pedal right, it's a very firm pedal, but it feels a lot like the manual brakes I have in Harry, uh, my 911, which, uh, yeah, you can really feel it and you can modulate it just by the, the pressure on your foot, which is much more realistic than the potentiometer type system. Now, uh, the accelerator pedal, out of the box, I found it very, very firm. I put it on softer setting and what I found I needed to do is uh, I needed to loosen off uh, the spring, but the trouble is then it was, it was the, the travel of the pedal was far too long. So what I did is I got a little piece of aluminium tube that I set up and uh, put an extra spacer in the back. So that's the stop for the pedal so that it can only travel so far. Um, it had a few of these little plastic ones, but there wasn't enough for my liking. So um, you could just use some extra uh, nuts or whatever. I will reach out to Camus and give my feedback saying they should probably include a few extra um, of these little plastic spaces in the kit so that uh, you can sort of limit the travel. But uh, once I got the pedal correct, I like the accelerator pedal reasonably light and I like the brake pedal nice and firm. So it's quite a hard brake pedal, nice soft accelerator pedal, not stupidly soft, but uh, just getting the right feel. Um, another one of the little things is um, the accelerator pedal after like sort of uh, half an hour of use would be out of adjustment and I found that there's a little uh, there's a little nut on this side down here of the pedal and I just uh, tighten that up a little bit. And now the pedal is working perfect. So after having this out for a few weeks now, it took me a little time of adjustment to get used to using this setup and I think it has taken the feel up that next level. Now, can you get by with the other pedals? Absolutely, the other pedals and, um, and steering wheel work um, absolutely fine. This is just that bit better. The feel of the brake pedal particularly took me ages to get the balance right, to get the shock absorber set up right and to get that pedal feel. And now that I have it there with the load cell, I can really feel the brake and really be able to sort of feather the brake between locking up and uh, and trail braking into corners and stuff like that, I found a huge difference. And the, just the directness of the steering wheel, I found that, um, yeah, just in the slides, I just seem to be able to catch the slide a little bit better. It's just that little bit less slop than uh, the other wheel. And not that it was really that noticeable, but uh, yeah, particularly the pedals were a huge game changer. So uh, overall, I am very happy with uh, with the upgrade. I definitely think it is a worthwhile upgrade if you're going up to that next level. Um, the next thing for this setup, potentially for me, would be maybe one big single screen. I think I prefer a large curved screen over the triples. Um, I just, yeah, the triples are good. They're much better than a single small one in the middle, but uh, yeah, I think the uh, single curved screen would be a better setup for me. And besides that, it's good. And it gets a lot of use. It's been going for however many years now, and it's been getting a whole lot of use. I am very happy with it. So um, yeah, thank you, Camus. There'll be a link in the description, but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this one. Slightly different, uh, a little bit of a break. You can't be working on the cars all the time, but um, yeah. Let's get back to racing. See you guys.